Hi everyone, welcome to Paris Release Features. Uh, we'll talk about email client uh, features that are added as part of Paris Release. Uh, so for the first feature that is added is send quick messages with templates for common responses. So we will see how to create quick messages and how they can be used in uh, email uh, creation. Uh, add files directly from records without having to download them. That's the next feature. Then the third feature is save emails as drafts and then you can send the email later or you can come back and uh, access them later. Now to do this, uh, uh, to uh, access the draft emails, you have to create a workspace list uh, on this table. So we will look at that also. So let's get started. So we'll first look at how to create a quick message. So we go to email client quick messages and click on new. So when you do that, it gives you an option to give a title to this message. Uh, so I'll say demo quick message and you have an option to activate it. Uh, then you can select to which user or group this uh, quick message is applicable. And then you select the table. So let's select incident here. And then the body. So this is a HTML uh, field. So you can uh, like design the the email that has to be part of this quick message. Uh, so let's say I'll add an image and then I'll add some text. Uh, and you also have access to the fields on the incident. So let's say we want to add number of the incident that is created. So I look for that. And I'll say thanks for reaching out incident uh, is created for your issue and then you can also add a logo as needed uh, so once you add the logo and the, the required uh, content of the body uh, then this completes creation of the quick message so if you want this message to be applicable only for certain conditions on the record let's say state is only uh, one of the state values or so on then those also can be applied using the condition builder uh, and then you save this so that's the first step creation of quick message uh, next we will access the agent workspace uh, agent workspace in workspace home so here uh, we need to open an incident record so let's uh, find one record go to incidents open and let's open this record here now on this record there's a option uh, called more and when you click on that you have an option to see uh, compose email so you can click on that and this will give you this uh, email client where you can uh, uh, compose the email now you see this little button here called quick messages so once you click on that you will see the quick messages that is that we have created uh, and if you want to add this quick message to the this body of the email then you click on uh, that quick message and then click on insert then it adds to the body of the email uh, and then you can add your two address and so on and send it so you also have an option to flag this email as important so when you click on this flag button it makes it as important email now coming to attachments uh, there are two options one is you can attach a file from computer or you can attach from record so you will see this attaching from record feature so for to do that first I'll go and attach a file to this record so I'm adding, adding this HTML file to this record and uh, that should be available in the attachments uh, section here so now if I go back to this email client uh, and click on add file uh, I should see this coming up here so you can add multiple attachments also at the same time if you want you just select them and then you click on add so that's how you add attachments to this email uh, and then you now you have an option to either send or save so you click on save to save it as draft so that saves it as draft now to access this draft it is not straightforward so I was hoping that 
from here you can directly click on compose email and that will take you to the draft but it doesn't work like that so you have to actually navigate to the table which stores this draft uh, messages so I'll show you how it is done so there's a table called sys email draft which stores all the draft emails so we have to create a workspace list uh, that points to this table and using that we will be accessing the uh, draft emails so let's see how it is done so on workspace go to lists and select my lists uh, click on new list and here uh, we can give this a name and uh, a table so I'll say my draft emails and in the table we select Uh, yeah, so this email draft is a table name, so select that, and then uh, you can also add a condition which says author is me, right? So you'll only see your emails. save this you can also add some additional columns if needed uh, otherwise you can just save it so once you save it you'll see all the draft messages and not just uh, like all your draft emails and not just the uh, specific incident ones uh, because this is uh, a table which stores all the draft emails right so yeah so now let's sort them by created timestamp so you can see the one which I just created uh, so this is the one which I just created so basically uh, one more thing to observe here is uh, if you go back here so the moment you uh, click on compose email it starts uh, like thinking that it's a draft email which makes sense even though you don't truly save it it kind of makes it as a draft email so you see here like I did not save it but I'm still seeing this as a draft email right so that's that but yeah so this is the email that I want to retrieve so I click on that and it brings this up so this is the email which I have uh, added the quick message and then I have added the attachments so now this is ready to be sent so we can start typing the email address and it should uh, uh, search right so it will go and search for the user records uh, with this matching text uh, in the email address you can also uh, uh, like provide email address which is not uh, mapped to any user account as well right so, so that's how you add email address and then or to address and then you can click on send so that's the uh, the features which are added as part of uh, uh, Paris release for the email client so we'll uh, quickly uh, uh, I'll, I'll quickly do a recap so first thing is uh, quick messages so we go to application navigator type quick messages and here you will see uh, quick me messages which are uh, available in the platform so you can see which one is active and which one is not active here and then you can also do see to which table it is uh, mapped right so this is how you configure a quick message and then from workspace uh, by using this button here you click on compose email and you will be able to uh, uh, add the quick message to the record and then uh, we also have seen the option where you can flag the email as important and then we also have seen how to add files uh, from the record uh, yeah that completes the features for email client thank you for watching